welcome welcome all my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac brenda here brenda tarot and i'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card message for the day your daily message for october the 14th 2021 starting off with your all over energy card here you have been given the let it go card so i do believe that right now is a time that you need to think about forgiveness and maybe healing some past resentments let go of it, okay? Let go of that, ro that role of feeling as though you could be a victim in a situation because what happens is, um, you know, when we don't forgive, and these old hurts fester and become distorted, causing us pain over and over again. And, and it's as though we trap ourselves in a prison of our own making because we've tied ourselves to that story, at, you know, and played the victim. Or, you know, even if we were the victim, it's time to cut that invisible cord that's causing this situation and it's preventing us to move forward. So today, don't, you know, don't allow yourself to be victimized. Let it go. Let go of those, um, you know, unresolved hurts in your mind. Or if you're speaking about it to, with friends or anything the only way we can move forward is to let it go and throw it out into the universe with forgiveness albeit we don't have to forget it and we don't have to allow that energy if it was toxic or narcissistic or hurtful whatever it was around us we need to just let it go because it only holds us back and you know forgiveness is the key that's going to liberate us it's very meaningful in life and we need to realize that so you know it's simple as saying um, you know universe take it away from me my divine spirits uh, whoever you lean into, ask them to remove it from you and let it, let it go. And every time you think about it, you know, cast it out of your mind and say, I'm throwing this out into the universe. I'm throwing it out with forgiveness, but I don't want to be obsessing about it anymore. So learn to, to let things go here, okay? Now, coming in with your first card, you've got the lovers. And perhaps you've had an issue here with someone. But I do think that there's some major decisions and choices that you're going to be making right now. This is a card that says you need to you need to have some balance. It's a beautiful card. It says, you know, it talks about making a very profound decision uh, that you have to make that could be determined around another person and uh, someone on a heart level. And I think you're going to be thinking about issues on a heart level now. So maybe you're, you're, you know, you're stepping up into forgiveness with a relationship with somebody in your life right now. And you've, you, you've, you know, you've held on to that energy and it's time to let it go. And that's all about balance. Okay. So, you know, I think, you know, it's time to make it an important decision in your life. And the conclusion that you come to is going to greatly, re, you know, influence your future. So it's important to weigh your options carefully. Make sure your choices are, con are thoroughly considered and that you're able to act on them. Okay. So, you know, the card says here, I often read it, that you could be meeting somebody randomly that's going to come in, that's going to uh, create a whole new level of intimacy and in a relationship. Uh, they may be different from anybody you ever thought you would be interested in, but keep your mind open to differences because it's often when we least expect it, someone walks in our life and they prove to us that, you know, this platonic relationship can become intimate. And so, you know what, I think you're going to be sharing some beautiful feelings with someone close to you today. Uh, beautiful. Also know that, you know, when the lovers comes up, it also refers to the return of good health. So if any of you have been feeling under the weather, not quite yourself, I mean, this is the season to get, you know, flu bugs and colds and whatever. And of course, with the likes of what's going on in our world, and we all know what that is, some of you might not be feeling you know great and it could be emotional spiritual mental or physical but this says you have the return of good health here so i would not be too concerned here i would not get up in your head and worry okay let any worry go here now your next card you have here is the two of wands and that came up for yesterday's reading as well and the two of wands is you know basically uh you know coming into your own here being able to go the distance being able to realize that what you've done you know you're continuing to forge forward here and what you've done is taken courage and you know and you know to help you move forward here you've had to be brave and courageous i do think you're going to consider partnering up with somebody you know the globe is here this could refer to traveling going the distance for your job dealing with people on an international level perhaps and um you know getting together with another person um, I think there could be, again, this is, we talked about this yesterday, this is all about signing contracts for business and some maybe business agreements, knowing that this is a controlled move forward for you. Uh, you know, I think you, you're definitely 
probably going to be doing some negotiations that are going to go smoothly for you today. So just like yesterday, I think, you know, you're still dealing with something here, whether you're negotiating with someone on an intimate level or on a business level. Now, coming in next, you have the chariot. And I love this. I call this <clears throat> the champion card because he goes into the arena with the mindset he's going to win, even though he knows there's risks and there's consequences. So today, when you're making the decisions that you meet, need to make, be careful, weigh them. Uh, you know, think on your feet and listen to that little voice of reason today. Don't go jumping into anything too quickly without making sure your plans have been implemented safely. Um, <clears throat> I do believe that, you know, you will come out of this. I do think you might be traveling. Some of you, again, I, re I refer to traveling. You're moving on. Um, and you could be going for traveling for business or for pleasure. But I do think that you're going to be able to commend yourself today for something that you've accomplished, something that you've done that you didn't realize you could do. So definitely a beautiful, beautiful card here. So definitely moving forward. So something you're going to accomplish something today uh, that, you know, you felt, you know, might have been difficult, but you go forward with it. Um, I think that you will be collaborating with someone else here that's going to help you move towards this goal. So it's a great, great reading. Now, the Ten of, the Ten of Wands talks about moving forward here. And, you know, walking away from something, leaving something behind, the worst is over. You may have felt as though you were tied down, held back, restricted, and um, not able to move forward. Some of you may have felt you're actually betrayed and stabbed in the back for some sort of situation around you. But I think you've lightened the load. I think you've realized that you've done had enough and you're moving on and you're letting it go whatever this was if there's been an issue with somebody whether it was a, an intimate or a uh you know a friendship relationship something there they say colleague to me as well uh, there could have been an issue with somebody and you've lightened that load you've walked away you had some hard high mountains to climb but you've traversed them now and i think you're coming down the other side so things are definitely looking up um i think you know you've learned to let things go you've learned to deal with situations and you're moving on um and and that in itself is a great accomplishment to be able to do. Um, it's very difficult sometimes for us to let things go and move forward in a positive direction. Um, and you've done that. I think, you know, today's a good day. I think you're, you're being able now to realize you're not taking on any more burdens that you don't own. They don't belong to you. And also, maybe you could have been in a one-sided relationship where you were doing all the investment. You were doing all the work. You were doing all the maintenance. And you realize that, you know, you've had enough. Uh, you, you've got, you're not the beast of burden here. You have realized that you can move forward now with the assistance of others or someone close to you perhaps uh, to go forward here in a partnership in a new direction. One that's more much much more easier for you. So, you know, in, all in all, it's a pretty good reading and I would definitely consider uh, you know, moving forward here taking, uh, you know, going for what it is you want, your goals, partnering up with somebody here who definitely is in the same end of the ring with you. Um, and you're traveling the distance and going the distance for your success here. So it's a great reading. Well, I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic one to look forward to. Always know that I send you many blessings and much love. See you soon.